everyone, I'm outside Skull Ida in Corbley in Limerick City, the scene of an alleged attack yesterday. So there's varying rumours going around that a man with a samurai sword entered the school and attacked children, um, going to the other end that a man with a small flick knife, he didn't enter the school, um, but he attacked some people on the road. The official reports are that a man was was acting erratically outside a school, which is believed to be Skull Ida, and he was arrested by the armed response unit at a nearby little. So he came down long and he had a sword and he fucking was swinging for the children or something. Um, but the children had only started to come out to the yard and they were all taken back in. But then wasn't there a load of kids from you know, St. Mary Secondary School? They all walked that road coming home from Carberley like to, to home and he was attacking them. And then some mother started roaring at him and he went over and she went back into her car and locked herself into her car and he started smashing up her car. And your one saw this now, you know, just didn't hear her say like she saw what happened, trying to get into her. And she was just beeping her horn and he just ran away. Well, I just saw it on social media um, that there was a man with a knife attacking children. And it, it was scary, it was scary to hear. It was my own child, she attends the school here, but she wasn't in school yesterday. She was out sick. So I'm Jesus, I'm glad she wasn't because to hear everything on Facebook and Instagram and everything, it, it was just so scary. Well, it's circulating and it was on social media that he gave a girl a kick. He was bellied up, he gave her a hard kick into the back and put her flying to the ground. So it's 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 very scary and he had a flick knife. There's a lot of people saying there was a sword. But now they're saying it was a flick knife um, and he was later arrested in, it was up near Little, up the road from the school. So very scary. It's, it's absolutely terrifying that unvetted individuals are left into this country and no one knows where they're from. Are they from mental asylums? Are they from prisons? We, we don't know anything about them. And they're just, they're here and as you said, in Dublin, the sevens of them kids, that could have been my daughter yesterday or anybody else's. So We're devastated and we're very concerned. There's no children allowed out in the streets anymore now. Everyone's terrified of keeping their kids in. It was meant to be, it was, it was reported that there was an African man off his head on drugs running down Carberley Road yesterday with a samurai sword. And he meant to have jumped on top of teenage girls, pre-teens coming from St Mary's, isn't it? Mary's, Inside, yeah. And kicked her into the back and knocked her on the ground. And then he came towards this school here, we heard, and he had a samurai sword and the children were just coming out. And the teachers brought them back in and shut the school down. I heard all the men fathers formed a circle around the school in case there was somebody else with this man. And um, the school are saying that they nobody entered into the schoolyard, but there's no footage, so we don't really know. You know, we don't really know what happened. And nobody entered into the schoolyard, as you can see. Look how low that wall is. I mean, it isn't, I mean, it isn't very hard to enter into that school in any way. But it is very concerning because young children are going here to school. They have a right to be safe while they're in school. I've never heard of anything like ha this happening before in no, life, have you? No. I haven't ever heard of anything like this. But then the newspapers are reporting that it was um, not a samurai sword, that it was a, a flick knife. A small flick knife. Yes. Now, a weapon is a weapon. Do you know what I mean? You can kill someone with a flick knife as well as you could with a samurai sword. So they're trying to, trying to uh, downsize this or, you know, play it down to make it not look so bad. Yes, basically. Principal in this school sent out emails to parents to tell them, don't turn up for any protests here, which she shouldn't have done. Because you know I mean? it's her child in here, it's her children going to school here, it's just her job. She's going home to probably live out the road. These children are here every day. The principal in the school um, sent out a text message to parents saying that there was no need to be concerned with that nothing happened. Yet, a man was arrested. Right? He did have a weapon and 
it was serious enough that he's up in court today. A special sitting of the court to deal uh, with him today. Do you know what I mean? Because the court is closed till Monday. Yeah. So he's been brought in for a special sitting in the court today. So if nothing happened and there was no need for concern, right, why would they be calling special sittings? Exactly. There you go. Talking about getting cut out. Do you know what I mean? And all the local newspapers have it on the front of their papers. It's the front page story all about it. And we also heard that there was a parent and she got out of her car and she was shouting at the man and he came after her and she jumped back into her car, locked herself in and he started attacking her car and smashing up her car with a samurai sword. That couldn't have been done with a flip knife. <laughs> yeah. Limerick had a stabbing last night inside in town. There was three people stabbed by some, lo some locals. But my question is this. If we already have a problem here in this country with violence, why are we importing more people into the country with a propensity for violence? It makes no sense. We need to deal with our own violence besides importing more of it. So whatever actually happened yesterday, we know that an African man was arrested, he was armed with a knife and he was acting erratically outside uh, the school here behind me that's if we go with the mainstream media report from what we know about the mainstream media they tend to bend stories uh, to suit their own narrative but considering we had children stabbed at a school in Dublin uh, three weeks ago the fact that unvetted males are outside our schools at all where our children um, learn is, is deeply concerning. This is Derek Bly at Skull Eda in Carberley in Limerick City.